Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of The Person Behind the Actor and as always, I'm your host Michael Min and today we're gonna be tackling one of probably the world's most favorite actor that is coming from Seoul, South Korea. At least I think he's from Seoul. Uh, we'll see in a few minutes. Uh, it is, of course, Lee Min-ho, or how people pronounce it, Lee Min-ho, I suppose. Um, and, you know, you've probably seen this guy everywhere from commercials to dramas and to God knows how many movies. Uh, he's one of the most beloved actors, um, I, I'd say worldwide, but I think that, uh, spot is for Angelina Jolie. But either way, everyone knows him, men, women, <sighs> he is quote-unquote a dream actor and probably a dream person. But we're gonna look into that, uh, as I said, in a few minutes. Obviously, we're just gonna tackle his uh, name a little bit, you know, look into the Hanja, and then some basic information about him, uh, you know, some words and whatever I find interesting. And at the end, as always, we're gonna do a little reenacting of a scene which... Um, he has many scenes, so I had things to pick, uh, and I believe I picked the one that I find the most amazing, you know, from, you know, the whole collection. So I suppose you just gotta stay tuned for that, and we'll see how we're gonna tackle such a wonderful person, I suppose. So, here we go. All right, so today we are gonna look into Yi Min Ho and his name, as I was saying, probably the world's most favorite Korean actor. So, like last time, the name Lee, which means plum or, you know, a plum tree, nothing changed there. Usually it's just the family name, so it doesn't really have a meaning in the whole name itself, but I like uh, giving it a full story. Then we have here Min, which if you see here, it, it's clever or someone who's smart. In any case, a smart learner, which is very good, um, you know. And the last part, Ho, which means bright. As in, I suppose, bright as the sun, you know, someone who has a very cheerful, cheerful personality. So, Overall, let's tackle his, the name's uh, story a little bit. So, we have a plum, which doesn't really work, but, uh, you know, a fast learner who's bright. So, I would say someone who is as beautiful as a blossoming plum tree that is both very smart and overall brightens up any room he is in. And I suppose most people would be very happy to see him in the same room. So, yeah, I think he would uh, brighten up uh, everyone's day. So, uh, you know, a very nice name, uh, if I may say so myself. Um, and, well, looking at uh, his whole, you know, physique and face, he is as good-looking as a blossoming tree. So... I suppose the parents were on point with his name. Now, let's tackle down some information about it. Let's go. So, as I was saying, his name is Imino, which is, that's how we pronounce it, and not Lee. As I said in the previous video, he was born on the 22nd of June, 1987, which makes him right now 33 years old and in Korean age 44, and his zodiac sign is uh, Cancer, which is a water sign. He has been active for a very long time, so 2003 until now, and my math completely left me, so I have no idea, probably like 18 years, I guess. Anyway, uh, it's not my forte. So his university that he attended is Gongguk Daekyo, which, if I remember correctly, 
uh, we've seen before and his height is 187 centimeters. Oh, if only I was that tall. Now, let's look at his filmography a little bit. So first we have Kang Nang Boo's and then Bounty Hunters, which are very amazing films. I personally enjoyed them very much. And then we have some dramas here. So Boys Over Flowers, which we all know. I think he played Gu Zhong Pyo or something, but he was very uh, popular. And then we have City Hunter, which everyone and their grandmother has seen, I guess. I know I have. And, you know, The Heirs, which he has played alongside Crystal from FX. And The King, uh, The Eternal Monarch. Now, there are a few, um, well, trivia for you, a few trivia information. Um, so he was the first Korean person to have his wax figure in uh, Madame Tussauds um, Museum. Uh, it was unveiled in 2013 in Shanghai and 2014 in Hong Kong. Uh, he has many awards. That, that page was full. So we see here that there are uh, some in KBS Drama Awards, which he received two, and for SBS Drama Awards, he received 13. Please, can you give me, like, a few of them? <laughs> well, let's look at the reenacting. But, Hojunse, I have a question. 어디로 갔어? 뭐? 이 안에 있어? 나오라고 안 돼? 아, 나, 나오라고? 거기서? 아까 진짜 너의 아버지는 이렇게 끝났어. 그랬더니 다음 시간에 만날 거지. 그럼 나 진짜 궁금해. 진짜 아버지가 누군지. 많이 궁금해? 응. 아, 어떻게? 내가 한번 물어봐줘. 아, 정말? 아는 사람들이야? 알지. 우리 집에 제대로 사는 사람들인데. 그 안에 잔잔아. 진짜? 내가 전화해서 물어봐줄게. 여보세요? 너 괜찮냐? 어. 난데. 나 집주인인데 어? 무슨 집주인? 그냥 들어가시면 어떻게 해요? Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, it was a pleasure tackling down someone who is this uh, well accomplished and I do hope you like the reenacting as well. It was pretty fun in my humble opinion. And you know, I'd like to say how grateful I am to be able to make the series because it gives me the opportunity not only to show people what I like, but at the same time for my acting skills to develop. And, you know, practice makes perfect. And the more practice you do, well, it becomes perfect. So there's that. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I guess I will be seeing you in the next one next month. Bye, guys.